Hey everybody, welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to go over the uh, mini scheme that I like to run out of the Minnesota Vikings playbook, the I Formation. This is a really good book for the I Formation plays. You got uh, three different sets. You got the I Formation Pro, I Form Slot Flex, I Form I Formation Wing. Now this is a really good formation for running the ball out of this playbook. It's also got some decent pass plays in it. You got the curls, inside zone, PA middle shot which you can adjust around a little bit. You got the yeah, ISO, the quick slants, 26 duo, 94 will, PA comeback, Vikings fade, counter, and the PA shot. PA or power O mid attack, PA power O. All these are really good plays. You got the halfback toss, the lead draw, the PA draw shot. Then you got the slot flex, which has what I believe to be the best run play in the game period and I did another video about that but you got the inside cross halfback counter PA shot again you got the PA power PA power O passing play you got the flanker dig slants halfback lead draw PA draw shot PA fullback flat. It's a really good play. Just a couple adjustments on that one. Got the quick wide receiver screen and another halfback lead dive. You got PA cross F wheel, halfback blast, China special, hitch corner, the toss, which I think I already did mention that. That's what I believe is the best run play in Madness. Halfback toss out of the I form slot the Vikings playbook. You also had to have a screenplay. Now you got uh, the I form wing which has a really good Vikings power G. You got the zone weak. You got the Vikings fade. Weak ISO. Another really good toss. It's got some really good uh, pulling action on the line there. You got the power O and a power O passing play, which is a really good one. You got the fake halfback flip and the fullback dive, or fake fullback halfback flip. The curls. It's just a really good I formation playbook. And I'm going to show you a few of the plays I like to run out of this formation. You got the PA comeback slide. We'll just do random defense the whole way through here. Now this one's got the comeback route, which is pretty overpowered this year in Madden. What I like to do is block my halfback. And then I will uh, block my line depending on which way it looks like it's coming in. This way I want to block the guy on the left there, so I'm going to slide my line to the right. And then my uh, running back should pick up that backside. Now you're trying to hit one of these inside route, or the inside route or the outside slant routes. There, are X came wide open. Run this again. Block our halfback. Slide our line to the right, and pretty much leave it as is. Now, if they're coming down and covering it, you always got the comeback route. The one you really want to get out of here is the uh, O route, or the circle route. But you also got your dump off to the fullback if needed. There, I threw it a little bit. That wouldn't work against uh, human competition there too much. But well, That's that play in this book. And we got... Uh, a few more I want to show you here. I'm not going to show you all of them because as you can see, like I showed you, there's a ton of plays in here. 
we got the quick slants everybody pretty much knows how to set those up we got the 26 dual good one we already did the comeback uh, the Vikings fade that one you just kind of I just really don't really use that one much uh, you got the mid attack here that's a decent play power O uh, this halfback toss is pretty good. We'll show you that one. It's got some good blocking on the edge, as you can see. Ooh, that's a kind of a delayed pitch. I like that. Let's see if we can uh, switch this one. Yes, you can. You can uh, manually switch it without any movement, so you'll be able to move that around against your opponent. Pretty good play, good for 5 or 10 yards. Anyway, that's a good one. Just so many good plays in this book. I'll show you a few more. I don't want the video to get too long, but I would highly recommend checking out this playbook. Basically, you got the lead draw. That's a really good draw because you got the fullback seal on the inside block on that one. We'll switch over to the I form slot. I've already shown this halfback toss in another video, but I do believe that is the best play in Madden. Got the halfback slip screen. These hitch corners. This is a pretty uh, good play here. As you can see here, you got uh, your two flooded routes to the uh, left side of the field. What I like to do is uh, either take square and bring them back on a slant to kind of cross across that. And then uh, put the halfback in a wheel route. Make sure my fullback is blocked. And then I'll slide my line whichever way I think. This time it looks like they're coming from the right, so we'll slide to the left. Get the fullback to... Uh, block the back side and we're hoping to cause some well, we got it wide open what we want to do on that is flood to the left and come back across so hopefully one of our routes flooding to the left will break back open if not we got this square on a slant or you can drag the square also but I think the halfback wheel will eliminate the need to drag that way you can set a little bit deeper Too, uh, threw it too soon got impatient there but that's a decent play in this uh, I formation mini scheme here let's see we're in the slot flex this uh, power PA power O is a good one you got some decent routes in that one I don't need to run it that's pretty self-explanatory got another draw play in here this uh, PA fat, uh, fullback flat, I've ran this in, out of the New England playbook, has a similar play to this. What I like to do is drag my square and uh, fly route my uh, tight end. And then I'll block the fullback, put the halfback on a wheel route. That gives you uh, a deep route. You got your crossover over the middle. You got the drag, and then you got the wheel. Should be able to get one of these open always for some decent yards. It's pretty much how you set that one up. We'll go through it again. We're going to block our fullback, halfback wheel route, flyer, tight end and drag the square route that's what it should look like when it's set up and you just see whatever comes open and take it pretty much should always have the low route open if they cover that you'll get your deeper route open it's a really good play formation in this book is just so loaded See, we got the PA draw. I mean, that's pretty self explanatory. The inside cross is a really good one. 
You got uh, Hitch Corner. That's okay. We'll jump over to the wing. Vikings Power G is a really good running play. Uh, zone Week's a good running play. PA Spot is a good passing play. You got the weak ISO. I like the seal block on that play with the fullback. Vikings Fade is a good one. If you need some uh, quick yards, there's not a whole lot to have to do to this one. I personally would uh, probably send a square route on a fly pattern. What you're going to hope is that safety bites down on the lower route and it gives you a one on one. Not this time. See the square or the X there beat that zone because once he got through the zone, then he, he was able to get open. But there's many, you can set this one up so many different ways. You can slant the square, give you that across the field motion. You can fly route your tight end. You can set your circle out farther to get a little bit of a shallower drag. You can block both running backs or however you want to do it. This play's got many options. I waited too long to throw that one. So you got that play and I'll show you a couple more. This is a really good scheme. I like this uh, fullback dive play out of here too. It's a good one. I won't show you because it's pretty self-explanatory. This halfback, fake halfback, or fake fullback halfback flip. I haven't used this play a lot, but I've seen other guys have a lot of success with it. Here we got beat, beat on it, of course, but... It's probably really not a, I mean, maybe you bring your tight end over here we go. to help seal that edge off on here. It's kind of a quick hitting play. But it, it's got decent blocking. It, it's not going to work all the time. But it's going to give you uh, a decent shot at getting blocking over on this side over here. Make the first guy miss, which I didn't there, but... You could see on that one, once you made him miss, I mean, you had a lot of green ahead of you. On this defense, they're all down in the box. This play's probably not going to work. Oh, if I got it, it did too work. It's a decent one to throw in there once in a while, maybe after you've ran that fullback run a couple times. Just so much to go over in here. Maybe I'll put out a little bit of a an ebook on it or something sometime. Let's see, I think there's one more I wanted to. Uh, maybe that was it in here. No, PA shot or spot. I mean, this is a nice play. You got. I take the circle route on a slant. Bring them out wide. Take my. Uh, half back in a wheel route which I prefer it to be to the other side here maybe we'll just do something like that with them there's all kinds of funky ways you can set this one up it's another one that gives you your route across the middle you can't really duplicate that route Maybe put the circle on a drag. Then you got two low routes, two high routes, or one medium and one high. Kind of pulls everybody off of that drag route. But you get the gist of this. This I formation, I believe, is overpowered in this Spikings playbook. I suggest you guys trying it out. And, you know, let me know what you think. Hit that like and sub button and follow me on social media and Twitch and I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.